Hey everybody, it's time for another Take 5, and today I'd like to talk to you about inspiration. And I'll be uh, reading out of the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 18. And it says, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. You know, we... Uh, we see how in our world how tragedy inspires people to do good things. You know, I think of 9-11. 9-11 was an awful tragedy. A lot of people died and uh, inspired people to give blood, uh, give money, donate time, and... Uh, a tragedy inspired people to do good things. And I think of a guy that I used to work with uh, a few years back. He was hurt in a horrible accident and uh, inspired a lot of people to go to his house and help him and build him a wheelchair ramp. You know, a, a horrible tragedy, but it inspired people to do good things. Um, a guy I work with up north. Um, his house burnt down, lost everything. Um, it inspired people to give money. You know, a horrible tragedy. It inspired people to do good things. You know, we see these things that happen on, you know, the GoFundMe pages and stuff like that, horrible tragedies. It seems like it's everywhere we look, with social media and, and uh, the news. But we see these world, we see these tragedies down here below on this earth. How much more should the awful tragedy of the cross inspire us to further the cause of Christ? There's no other real truth in this world but God's word, and there's no greater gift to humanity than our Savior. And his suffering that he bore before and during the crucifixion should daily inspire us to share the gospel with people, which is the ultimate good thing that the ultimate tragedy should inspire. You know, we, we as Christians, you know, a lot of times don't think about the cross as a tragedy, but as a triumph. And it is. You know, his, his death, burial, and resurrection saved our souls. And it's the ultimate triumph. But it's also the ultimate tragedy if you, if you think about it. No one suffered like Jesus did. And not just the crucifixion. He was betrayed. You know, Judas's betrayal alone was just awful. You know, betrayed for 30 pieces of silver. And it wasn't just Judas that forsook him. You know, the book of Mark, um, chapter 14 and verse 50 says, they all forsook him and fled. He was forsaken by all of his followers. What did that do to Jesus? I'm sure it broke his heart. He was falsely accused and rejected by Jewish leaders. He was mocked and abused by Roman guards. I mean, the, the, the spitting upon, the plucking out of his beard, the ridicule, making him a mock king. The, the crucifixion. His beaten, battered, ripped apart body, pierced through, nails through the hands and the feet, hung there. What a tragedy. He, and not just the physical, but he tasted death for us all. His suffering didn't begin on the cross. I mean, we think about the garden and when he felt the entire weight of my sin and the whole world right on his shoulders. What a tragedy. It turned into a triumph. But what a tragedy. And that should inspire us daily to share the gospel with people. We should take the ultimate tragedy 
and let it inspire us to share the ultimate triumph with those around us. And uh, that's all I have for today. I pray this is a blessing and a help. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's done these Take Fives. They've been a great blessing to me. And I hope we keep doing them. And uh, it's really nice to be able to see familiar faces when I'm away from home and hear some good Bible devotions. And uh, I just thank everybody who's involved in it. And I'll see you all next time. And God loves you.